now we are going to look at another two or three naturally arising distributions namely I will just we will first look at something which is not uniform we have looked at a uniform distribution. So, we will look at a non uniform distribution then we will just look at a triangular distribution and then we will spend some time understanding what is a exponential distribution. And as in every case we will find out what is the random variable the PDF the CDF and we will get hold of the the application. So, now let us look at the case where the number of minutes again my random variable x is measured it is time measurement and how am I measuring it? I am measuring it as number of minutes of playing time, but here it is not a uniform random variable it is following the following density curve what it says is f of x is equal to 0 0.025 for x lies between 10 minutes and 20 minutes that is what is this portion for x lying between 20 minutes and 30 minutes it is 0 0.05 which is this portion and for x greater than 30, 30 and 40 it is again 0 0.025 which is this portion and it is 0 otherwise. So, as in every case the first verification is yes it is greater or equal to 0 that is clear because it is not going below the x axis. The second thing is over the entire range what is f value what is it add up to be. So, you can see that this is going to be 10 to 20 0 0.025 times dx plus 20 to 30 0 0.05 times dx plus 30 to 40 0 0.025 times dx that is the total area under the curve. Now, this is nothing but the area of this, recta this rectangle plus the area of this rectangle plus the area of this rectangle. Now, we can see that the area of the first rectangle is what we have here which is going to be 0 0.25, 0 0.025 into 10 the area of this rectangle is 0.5 and the area of this rectangle is again 0 0.25 giving us that the total area under the curve is equal to 1 and hence this satisfies a PDF. So, the first verification is done. Now, the question that is asked is I want to find that so I am given x now I do not have it as a known distribution, but I can find know what is my pdf and my pdf is 0 0.025 for 10 is less than x is less than 20 0 0.05 for x is less than or equal to 20 is less than 30 0 0.025 for 30 is less than or equal to x is less than 40 0 otherwise this is how I can define my pdf and I am asking now what is the chance that x is greater than 20 probability x is less than or equal to 20 15 is less than x is less than 35 and probability x is greater than 35 these are the questions we are asking. So, let us go back to the problem and you can see that here probability x is greater than 20. Now, what is x is greater than 20 x is greater than 20 is going to be just this area I already know this. So, if I am calling my area 1, 2 and 3 probability x is greater than 20 is area 2 plus area 3 area 2 is 0 0.5 area 3 is 0 0.25. So, probability x is greater than 20 is 0 0.75. Probability x is less than 25 again 25 phi lies between this. So, if area of 2 
is 0 0.5, the half of that area is 0 0.25, x is less than 25 is area 1 plus half of that area 1 is 0 0.25, this is also 0 0.25 making the area total of this area to be 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 which is going to be 0 0.5 between 15 and 35. So, again you can see that 15 and 35 between 15 and 35, 15 lies between 10 and 20. Hence, this area between 10 and 20 is going to be 0.25 divided by 2. Similarly, 35 lies between 30 and 40. So, this area is again 0.25 by 2. And this is going to be already we know this area is 0.5. So, this is a 0.5, this is 0.5 by 2 and this is 0.5 by 0.25 by 2. Hence, the total area is 0.25 plus 0.5 which is again I have 0.75. Now, greater than 35 minutes, that is the last thing which we need to see. Again, we go back here. I know 35 lies here, which is exactly at half. Greater than 35 minutes is going to be this area. I know that the total area of 3 is 0.25. So, the half of this area is going to be 0.25 by 2. And hence, that is what I get as 0.125. So, now we, what we have established is I do not need a uniform distribution, but I need to understand what is my density. Given this problem, first I find out what is my actual whether it is a probability density function and I apply the formula we have got to find out what was the probabilities that were being asked just based on the problem. Now, let us look at another distribution. It is now 2 pm and Joan is planning to study for her statistics test until 6 pm. So, if I set 2 pm to be my origin and this is my 6 pm, I know this would be 3 pm, this would be 4 pm and this would be 5 pm and each of this is 1 hour. But however, she knows that she will probably have interruptions and she thinks that the amount of time she actually spends would be a random variable with the following probability distribution curve. So, if this is a probability distribution curve and this is 1 to 4, this is x is the time again we are measuring time and this is the time spent studying. So, I am going to spend anything between 0 and 4 hours and this is given by the following density. For this to be a density function, so f of x is a density function, I know 0 to 4 f of x dx should be equal to 1. Now, this density function has a triangular form. And I know that the area under this triangle should be equal to 1. So, 0 to 4 f of x dx is nothing but area of the triangle and I know that area of the triangle should be equal to 1. So, what is the density function? If I need to know what is the density function, the first question we are asking is what is the height of the curve at values 2? Recall the area of a triangle is 1 and I also know the area of a triangle is half length or height into breadth. Okay. So, the high breadth is equal to 4. I need to know what is my height and I know that the height is 1 by 2 because half into 4 into h equal to 1. I can establish 
that the height of the curve at value 2 equal to 0.5 because the area of the triangle has to be equal to 1 because we have a density function f of x. What is the probability that she will study for more than 3 hours? So, the probability she will study for more than 3 hours is going to be this shaded region. So, there are a couple of ways we can find this area. So, this height is 0.5. So, this height is 0.25. This breadth is 1 unit. So, it is just this area. So, the probability she is going to study for greater than 3 hours is 1 by 8. Another way to find out is 1 by 8 because this is 0 0.25 into 1 into half, half into 0 0.25 into 1 which is 1 by 8 of an hour. The probability she is going to study for greater than 3 hours is going to be 1 minus the probability she will study for less than 3 hours. Again less than 3 hours you can check that that would be the same as 1 by 8. Now the third probability is she will study between 1 and 3 hours. So that area is going to be this which is going to be the shaded region here. There are two ways to find this out. Again, I can do a 1, 2, 3. I can break this down and do it or I know the area of 1, the area of 2 which is this area and 3. Area of 1 plus area of 2 plus area of 3 is equal to 1. Area of 1 is again 0 to 1.25 which is half into 0.25, area of 3 is again half into 0.25. So, I can find out area of 2 is 1 minus half into 0.25 minus half into 0.25 which is going to be 1 minus 0.25 which is 0.75. Hence, the area of 2 is 3 by 4 which is 0.75. So, here you can extend this that one way to look at a triangular distribution is that here I had a symmetry, but I do not need to have a symmetry. I could have a distribution where the triangle is of this kind also. Okay, or it could be of this kind. Or it could be of this kind. What we need to ensure is the area under these curves are the same. In this case, the blue line, it was a symmetric distribution in the sense that the probability of x less than or equal to 2 is the same as the probability x is greater or equal to 2, which we can see is 0 0.5 because the area under the blue triangle has to be equal to 1. Okay. It need not be the case, it could be again this is with respect to this. So, a triangular distribution basically is a distribution which has a end point and it has a point C with the slope between A and C to be 1 and the slope between C and B to be another. Okay. If C is a mid point and this slope is equal equal to the negative of the slope, this is my blue triangle. So, in general we can write down the density function of a triangular distribution using this notion that is for A is less than 
x is less than or equal to c, it would be a upward sloping curve. And for c is less than x is less than or equal to b, it is going to be a downward sloping line. And we need to ensure, so when I am giving the equation of a line, I, I will get a, a plus b x or y equal to m x plus c. So, this would be a positive slope and this would be a negative slope. So, we demonstrated this at a foundational level just using a graph. So, in an advanced course, you will actually get the mathematical expression for a triangular distribution. So, in summary, what we have seen here is without going into the details of the mathematical expressions, we saw that they could arise other continuous distributions and we saw the example of a non-uniform distribution and a triangular distribution where the density function was a triangle.